Hi there, I recently tried out a new way of more publicly developing research ideas, for example, for viewpoint and opinion papers, and I want to share that here with you. Well, this new workflow for developing research ideas, it has three stages. So the first stage is a short message on Twitter or Mastodon that just has a very brief outline of what the idea is about. And at the end of these messages, I would have a call to action that says like, what do you think about this? Or where do you think this could lead? Or do you have any suggestions for where this idea could be taken? Well, the next stage then involves my Substack newsletter, where I write something every week since earlier this year, 2023. And I would incorporate some of the feedback I have received on Twitter or Mastodon or some LinkedIn or some other platforms where I launched the initial idea in the writing of this newsletter. And then I would post that newsletter and again elicit feedback on the newsletter post that is now more long form. It's usually about three to four minutes to read these posts. And the feedback is received on the Substack um, page itself or also on Twitter and Mastodon and LinkedIn. And sometimes I've also received it just in private emails to myself. And that can then lead to two additional changes. So one is as I get feedback after the newsletter is published, I can update the newsletter. And sometimes I'll make another release of the newsletter. And so like I've added this point or that point. And also the newsletter can be a starting point. And I've done this in a few cases now for developing a manuscript because in the newsletter, basically I already have some text. So I would basically just take the text I have in the Substack newsletter, put it into a Google Doc and then flesh it out, change the tone to be more professional rather than like more easygoing in the Substack newsletter post and then develop it in the manuscript, which of course also means then adding references and maybe in some cases also working with other people to add figures and other details. But basically every time I've done this, the basic idea has already been encapsulated in that Substack newsletter. So this is news to me and I've also not tried it for this long and I don't have that many results to show, but I thought I'd just uh, give you some of my initial take on how this is working. Well, first some advantages. The advantages are that I can elicit much more broad feedback than I would normally do, which would be to basically share that within the lab group. Now, you know, everybody on Twitter, Macedon and LinkedIn that happens to, see, happens to see this post can react and share their opinion with me. Now, my initial experience with that has been is that the response is, is not zero. I mean, some people do write also personal messages, uh, but the response has not been overwhelmingly huge. And I think that is probably most likely because people are sort of hesitant to comment publicly. But in principle, this can lead to a refinement idea, can lead to adding additional points. It can mean, well, uh, that basically people are interested in it. If the uh, post has been shared and viewed a certain number of times as a indication of interest and that can sort of buoy the level of enthusiasm you have for writing this into a, a full um, short manuscript like a viewpoint or opinion paper. What I had also initially envisioned is that this can lead to um, co-author recruitment or maybe even to ideas for developing grant proposals and this is starting to happen actually. People that give good comments, they could be invited to be co-authors later on on any of these platforms at any of these stages, depending on their level of interest. But I've also found that this can be, these Substack newsletters, at least they can be useful in other ways because I can share them with people when I just, you know, people are not all on social media, not all interested in reading his newsletters and not on Twitter, etc. So I can, I can write, I can just send them this newsletter and say like, here's something that I wrote, do you think this is interesting and would you like to contribute to fleshing this out as a manuscript? And that has happened and this has worked and there, this having written these kinds of newsletters has uh, proven advantageous. Of course, another advantage that is not to be underestimated is that this basically forces me or encourages me to write something every week. It's not very long, 
but every week I try to share some thoughts and ideas that I had. And that has become more automatic now. Um, but see how long that lasts. But I think it's been lasting for, well, over half a year now. And um, I'm having fun with it. Well, some of the drawbacks, um, um, this is not something that I have personally experienced. It, you know, the first reaction of people would be, this is not for everybody. You know, you don't want to maybe as pu publicly share your ideas, at least not ideas at a very incipient stage because you think somebody could just take them and run with them and do their own thing. And that of course can always happen and therefore I would not recommend this to everybody. But I think it's just something that I'm experimenting with at this time. And I certainly wouldn't use this for all ideas. I use this for uh, very, very early stage ideas where I am not so sure if this is going to develop into something. And then it just gauge the level of interest and to see if this resonates with anybody. When I already know this is an excellent idea and I know this can be done in an experiment, I think I'd rather not share it there, just do the experiment. But that might also change in the future. And a point that I'd already mentioned is that uh, the response in terms of input I have received has not been that much. But I think this is also something that needs to grow over time. So this is my new workflow. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. I'm just trying this out. As I said, I've done it for um, about half a year now. And this is just an, an early report, basically. Um, but I'd be very curious to see what you think. Um, I'll put the links to the Substack newsletter in the comments section. And thanks for tuning in. See you in the next one. Bye.